Ryan hunter Ray, nicknamed Captain America, is a 2012 IndyCar champion and a 2014 Indianapolis 500 champion. Ryan hunter Ray's also got 18 wins and 7 pulls, an experienced veteran who's remembered for racing in the iconic number 28, DHL Colors, from 2011 to 2021. He made his full season debut in 2003 for Champ Car and has done it all, winning races, winning a championship, winning the Indianapolis 500, and winning pulls. He knew what it was like to compete for wins and championships. However, what Ryan hunter Ray has also done in the sport was also cheat death three times. In this video, we are going to be going over how Ryan hunter Ray cheated death three times. With that being said, let's begin. The 2010 Indianapolis 500 was the 94th running of the greatest spectacle of racing at Speedway Indiana for Memorial Day weekend. Ryan hunter Ray started 17th and ran a clean race despite not leading any laps. During the closing laps of the 2010 Indianapolis 500, it was becoming a few mileage race to the end, especially for the win between Dario Franchitti and Dan Weldon. While the cameras were focusing on Weldon and Franchitti, ABC Broadcast and IMS Radio Network were focusing on the few mileage finish between Dario and Dan at the final lap. However, coming into the last lap, a big crash took place. Can he make it? Can he make it? Two and a half more miles. Weldon is three seconds behind. There's Weldon at the top of your screen. He's letting everybody go by. He's doing everything he can to save you. And Weldon, can he close? It's 3.6 seconds as they head through one. Oh, we've got a crash. Oh, a wicked crash involving two cars at least. He's won it. He's going to win it. Frankiti has won it. Ryan Hunter Ray involved in this. I could not take the warm up lane. I could not see who else was involved from our angle. And that car is certainly destroyed, but you can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go head into that fence. That is an, a horrible impact. Wow. All right, let's go on board from Elio Castroneves' point of view. You can see Mike was trying for some reason to yeah, go no, on the inside. Wow, he almost collected Anna Beatrice. Now from Ryan Hunter Ray's car. So you can see that he got hit on the inside and up over the top, and you can see Ryan Hunter Ray moving his hands, and he looks up in front of him, and he goes, gosh, I can't believe that. Oh, wow. Oh, so close. <laughs> Unreal. It became a fuel race there at the end, and I had no idea how much I had left in the tank, and came down into turn three, and it just died, the car died. And uh, that's when Mike launched over me. So it's, uh, it's really unfortunate. I'm, I'm sorry he's hurt. I got to have surgery on Tuesday on my thumb. And just a bummer, long day. I mean, that, that was one of the toughest races I've ever had, and we were doing really well. Just did, a bummer it ended did you, that way. Did you see the, the replay? Yeah, I can't believe it didn't hit my head. That's one downside to these cars, having the driver's heads exposed. That car should have came down on my head. I don't know how it didn't. And I looked at the replay and it was closer than I thought. I guess it cleaned out my camera right on top, which is, you know, at 230 miles an hour, it's as close as it gets. So I hope Mike's all right. Um, you know, it's just such, such a good day for the IZOD car. And we, we, had, we had a great a great run going, but I guess that's, that's, I don't really know the situation when I'm in the car. I just know I got to drive and I got to pass cars. Right. That's what happens when these cars hit, you know, they go flying. It's, it's, a, it's a bad situation like that. That one got pretty high. Um, I'm just, I, I'm bummed out because, first of all, Mike just got airlifted in a hot helicopter. Second, we had a great run all day long, and then to end it that way, it's, it's just kind of like, you, you've been here all month. This place means so much to the drivers and to the teams. The guys gave me a great car, and then to, to end it walking out of the medical center is kind of a bummer. What did you do to your um, that actually happened with uh, with Dixon on the pit stop about half or halfway, three quarters of the way through the race. He came out on me, and um, and and the wheel whipped around in my hand and uh, tore all the ligaments. And I was out there a couple laps later, went to go push a button on the on the wheel, and my thumb bent backwards. I knew I had a big problem then, but. 
didn't feel it until after everything. Coming at turn three, Ryan Hunter Ray's car ran out of fuel. Mike Conway was near Ryan Hunter Ray, and by the time Ryan Hunter Ray ran out of fuel turn three, Mike Conway would hit Ryan Hunter Ray and would go airborne, crashing into the cash fence. Hunter Ray would hit outside the wall, and his head nearly got hit by Mike's car while Mike's car was going down. Luckily, Ryan Hunter Ray would finish in 18th and escape the accident with no injuries. Unfortunately for Mike Conway, Mike Conway will suffer injuries in his legs and back. Poor Mike, he's always suffering injuries from scary accidents, especially on ovals. But in the end, both drivers did make it alive and live to see another day. The 2018 ABC 500 at Pocono Raceway was off to a slow start thanks to some checkups which caused a crash involving Graham Rahal and Spencer Pickett. After six laps under yellow, the race was restarted on lap seven. Unfortunately, another crash took place and it would be a scary one. Here comes the red machine, the Lucas Oil entry of... Canada's Robert Wickens. Oh, that's going to be tight through there. Oh, they touch. Oh, my God. Oh, that's Robert Wickens. And his that's teammate is into him as well, James Hinchcliffe. That was ugly. That was frightening. Big, big impact. Here comes the red machine from Schmidt Peterson Motorsports, Robert Wickens. Right with, looking. He's there by five. Still there. There. Doesn't take much at all. It was a very, very light touch, but just a pretty aggressive racing for the first lap. Coming at the turn two on lap seven, Ryan Hunter Ray and Robert Wiggins were side by side, battling for third place. By the time they both got into turn two, Robert Wiggins would let Ryan Hunter Ray go to avoid contact with Hunter Ray. Unfortunately, while dropping back to give Ryan Hunter Ray the position and space, both Ryan Hunter Ray and Robert Wiggins would touch in turn two. Wiggins would be ramping on Hunter Ray's front nose and would fly into the cash fence and crash hard. As the Ryan Hunter Ray hit the wall hard, it would spin around uncontrollably. As for Ryan Hunter Ray, when he was ramped by Wiggins during the accident, Hunter Ray once again went under a flying car. Honestly, an even closer call than a 2010 Indy 500 last lap. The accident would paralyze Robert Wiggins, but thankfully not only to live see another day, but he would return racing in 2022, but in the Michelin Pilot Challenge. As for Ryan Hunter Ray, he once again lived through another day with no injuries. The 2021 Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama at Barber Motorsports Park was the first race of the 2021 NTT IndyCar Series season. The race started off crazy as expected. However, in turn four, the big one took place at the straightaway before turn five. Good clean start. Rossi is pressuring Pato Award and then Alex Pelot. Rossi is very eager to get by in the first turn. We have a car off in the grass, but he collects it. Renus VK. Renus VK. Oh, he touches wheels with Simon Pagino as well, but Rossi wants to make the move Whoa. on the first lap. And oh, oh, you got it. Garden. Oh, that's blind uphill, a big accident right there. Colin Herta, over the place. Hunter Ray, Dalton Kellett, Max Chilton, Rosenquist, Hinchcliffe. Huge yeah, I'm all right. moment. Just got, Jimmy I got Johnson loose got in dirty through. air. He got, uh, New Garden said he got loose up over the hill. That's completely blind over the hill. Lost it in the grass. And as everybody else came over the hill, it, it's it, it's driving into a surprise. Cars all over the track. You can't see a thing if you're a trailing car coming over that blind rise. It's like a country road rolling through the hills and just nowhere to go for all of these trailing cars there you see the gainbridge honda of colton hurt a massive damage to the right front ryan hunter ray is out that's another andretti team car a massive championship implications for new garden hunter ray all these guys out and jimmy johnson was the a benefactor he got through all of this but look at this as we come up over the hill he gets loose, gets in the grass, loses it. Nobody else can see anything till they come over the rise. And look at all these cars just stack in. And Jimmy Johnson comes to a stop and threads his way through that like it's a Talladega wreck. <laughs> oh, Hunter Ray just clobbered Newgarden. Renus VK was one of the fortunate ones there. He got through and then got straightened up again. Watch this. Hunter Ray coming up that outside. There's the big collision between two championship winning drivers in this series. VK in the Sonax car. Look at Rosenquist up in the air to the left. My goodness. I tell you guys, that was some heads up driving by Jimmy Johnson. Look at him right there. He yep. stopped. He's getting out of the way of the wing. He's like 
picking his way through. Like I said, like it's a Talladega suit, like it's a big wreck there. So the, really heads up driving by Jimmy Johnson to get through there. In turn four, Joseph Newgarner wobbled on entry and spun. While some drivers avoided a spinning number two Hitachi Chevy car, other cars piled, which involved three other drivers, and Hunter Ray was one of them. While trying to avoid the wreck, Joseph Newgarden would spin around and Ryan Hunter Ray would hit Newgarden, and Hunter Ray would get through Newgarden with his arrow screen. The arrow screen was added in IndyCar back in 2020, and thankfully the arrow screen did its job. If it wasn't for the arrow screen, well, Ryan Hunter Ray would unfortunately lose his life, but thankfully, the aerial screen saved his life. After the 2021 Barber race, Ryan Hunter Ray would continue to race for Andretti Autosport number 28 DHL Honda Delara until the 2021 season concluded. Roman Grosjean would take over the ride for the next two years. As for Ryan Hunter Ray, he was not offered a ride at all in 2022 season, but was offered an Indy 500 ride in 2023 in the number 23 Dry and Rainbow team for the 2023 Indianapolis 500. After the 500, Ryan Hunter Ray would make a return to the sport in Road America, replacing Connor Daly, the number 20 Chevy for Ed Carpenter Racing. So that's going to do it for another video. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. This is Ian the Motorsports Man signing off. Goodbye, everybody.